to another part of the walkthroughs. Oh wait, <clears throat> you didn't hear that. Um, Dirt Story, part of the Derbers. Episode two, the Derbers timeline. Ah, uh, the one, and here we are doing, and here we are doing another part of this episode. Let's continue. Oh yeah, me and Luck got two more kids, so we have like what twelve now. Uh. And these two kids are the more balanced ones, and a lot more like me, where they're more sickly. Um, we got considerably lucky with the 10, even though in real life, technically, it would be the other way around, because having 10 kids is, I think, theoretical at this point. And it just shows how awesome me and Luck are. They officially decided that we had 10 kids, pretty much. And also, it's a cautionary tale of why you don't mate until you're married. Because you might have 10 kids, instantly. The first try. So, yeah. Um, don't do- Yeah, so yeah, think about that thing. Think about it. But yeah, and then the twins are- Which we'll call them the twins. The twins are more balanced. Um, I like the others, which are- they're like, they, they're like individual generals for their group. Like, individual specialists. Of course, there's traditional generals as well. Um, uh, but they're like me, where they're specialists. Um... Like, they're, like, for example, they'll be part of my cabinet, not necessarily part of the military. Now, like, they're not general generals, they're just part of my cabinet, like, Secretary of Defense, stuff like that. Like, you have multiple Secretaries of Defense, one for each, uh, one for each, I guess, Secretary of the Navy, yeah. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Like, stuff like that, and then, then the two kids are more like me, where they're more individual. Um, but they're also, but they're, they're just as sick as I am, where the other kids are more healthy. You know, sure they have general issues, but they're healthy. Um, they're not sickly, like me, like I am. Pretty much like my sister. Um, but anyway. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I I don't have names for them now. Uh, obviously, I just had I just had the idea of having a family this year because of the luck watch. Um. And I, and I made the majority of this when I was a kid myself, and since when do boys and even girls think about starting a family when they were boys and girls? So yeah, the, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Moving on to the, to, moving on to 2036, Green and Blue, Command Aerial Aircraft Carrier, and the Green and Blue Peacemaker Special Land Air Space Arm is formed, or SLAS. S-less. 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 I, I can say that right. Um, S-less. Pretty much like that. And what that is, it's the it's the branch that deals with special vehicles, like mobile, mobile base, because, mo well, let's actually switch to its a word page. Let me back. I do, do file, 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 file. Don't want to look at any of you. Open. Still getting used to this. Uh, changes. No. Please make a thing. No. Don't call six beta no affection bios. Yes, yes, that one. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, yes, I want this one. Okay. Uh, green and blue peacemakers and or green and blue P uh, PM branches. We get the land arm or LA. Jordan, it's abbreviation, uh, which deals with infantry, land vehicles, short range, and short range amphibious vehicles, helicopters, VTOLs. The air arm or um, a a a i a, which Land arm is, or LA is La A, ah, or A, a wait, A? Ah, I don't think my mouth moves in, it, moves in that way to make, to get the ice sound in there, but A. Ah. Um, they do planes, helicopters, VTOL, suborbit, orbit space planes, drop ships, so basically the, basically the, what will, what will be, sh what will be later. Basically the Oral Mach 4, which I haven't shown on the channel yet. Um, C arm or C or C A, the C A it deals with ships, amphibious vehicles, planes, helicopters, vehicles, drop ships. And why do, and why doesn't the land arm get drop ships? It's because they're not specialized in piloting um, surface to air. I mean, basically air to space vehicles. So yeah, whereas air arm is definitely meant to do that. C arm is meant to do that because air arm's meant to do that. Sea arm is obviously navy. Air, air arm is air force. Land arm is army. Um, again, we're not using we're not using 
national, not using country terms because we're not country. Um, space arm or spa, or spa or the spay, the spay. I, I like spay, spay. Uh, I like it. I, I like it. The spay, uh, spaceships, anything that's not small. Like for example, a spaceship. Uh, well, let's continue. Spaceship orbit vehicles, drop ships. Uh, what well, dropship is is a dropship is was dropship is in Halo. Uh, it gets you from a big ship to a big ship or space station to the surface and back. Also can easily go from uh, also can go for easily from um, land, air to space and back. So the suborbital orbital doesn't matter. Um, they are the militarized version of a shuttle, which is the same thing, just civilian. Um, so yeah, orbit vehicles are anything that can get into orbit and back. Space fighters are anything designed to be in space all the time. Orbit vehicles are meant to stay around planets. Think of them like a gunboat, where space fighters are a corvette or something. Something tiny. Pretty much what the Enterprise was until the Enterprise we all know, we all know and love in World War II. Um, spaceships are anything big. I guess there are space boats too, but anyway. So the special land, air, space arm, or SLS, or... I think I derped. Uh, I derped. Oh yeah, I derped, I derped. That, that's what derping looks like. Mobile base constructors, airships, sub, uh, sub-orbit, single-planet orbit vehicles, dropships. Uh, what were we on? Uh, I should have clicked it. Oh, we're up here. Oh yeah, the command aerial aircraft gear. What that is, if we're going to that, I need to go to these big tech. Uh, I need to scroll down. Is airships. Ah, uh, airships. What they're trying to bring back now, but keep failing so hard. What these airships are, they're hybrids. What are? What is the nearest thing you got in fiction? Which is the easiest way to explain them. Well, the easiest way to explain them is to tell, tell you what they are. They're mixed between heavier and air and lighter than air flight. As in, they have gigantic uh, helium bladders. Um, they, they have gigantic helium bladders because we're not crazy enough to put hydrogen in, in airships. We're crazy enough to put them in tanks, but not, 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 not airships. Um, we know what happened last time. We all know what happened last time. Um, and you can, still, you can still extract helium out of the air. It's not that hard. Um, so you can even pick a submarine where you just blow out, uh, you blow out helium, you, you get more in. Um, yeah, it could work that way. Because if we refine hydrogen making process so well, you could put in power armor as your primary power source. That's none. Um, so, it's that, but in order to actually fly, you can hover-ish. Like, you can float, kind of. But in order to fly, it needs to have gigantic jet engines. And, which use hydrogen, you can just pull that out of the air. And you just have fuel of it. so few of it, and so many, and so many engines that it's fine. And then it has vertical, vertical lift, lift, vertical jet engines as well to propel it like an airship, which is full, uh, th full six degree freedom. So like the first six degree freedom fighters would, or well, vehicles would be airships, um, and the Dervers, and then you know space fighters later on. With space fighters using using similar technology, where uh, where, like, the Space Aurora, the actual Space Aurora, which I wanted to make in uh, Imperion, which I will eventually, um, get back to that game. But the Space Aurora basically has, for its canard, it has, a, it has an engine there with another canard on top of it just for extra extras. Um, and it has, then it has gigantic, then it has gigantic engines, or rocket engines, and the wings. Um, which also, you know, go around 360 degrees to help fly in space. Um. And maybe two vertical, and maybe two horizontal ones, um, and like in the center line to have it go side to side, to strafe, which I don't really strafe anyway. Um, so yeah, basically, basically get down that modern uh, understanding of how space fighting would work. Um, and that's a story, and it's a story for another time. Exactly why there are space fighters in green and blue. Um, However, the story boils down to because one jerk made it happen, and also because how are you gonna what what are planets supposed to do? Sit there and just launch their gigantic, highly expensive ships at people? Ugh. 
Um, by the way, stations. I mean, what are you going to do? Um, by the way. And also, in case they're one using, by the way. So, yeah, these are the multiple uh, um, hybrid airships. And the closest thing they are are the super plane, uh, the gigantic boss super planes from Ace Combat. That's what they're reminiscent of. We got we got the command aircraft, aircraft, aircraft carrier, which is your AWACS and can launch aircraft. Typical, uh, you can launch aircraft like fighters. It flying at like 500 miles an hour or something can launch land-based fighters pretty easily. Um, because you're flying 500 miles an hour, which is well their stall speed, you ignite the engines and you just take off a full, full throttle and you're good. Um, which is what you've seen in its combat. That should work. Heavy combat support airship, aka what the ma what the Kodiak is in, in Command Conquer 4. Remember that game? Yes, we also pressed it. Uh, remember the Kodiak? That was awesome. That's what the, that's what that is. Uh, high altitude recon is basically just a big floating balloon which you pilot, um, and they're supposed to go in the stratosphere and stuff like that. And they're supposed to be like like. Normal hybrid airships are supposed to stay on the edge of the battle space, like an AWACS, and tankers. And these guys are basically just having gigantic railguns that are underslung, or even built into the sides. They're just launching their railguns rail across entire countries, maybe, probably not. Um, but basically act as highly mobile artillery. Um, and not really meant to fight against flying things, but are cheap enough to, if they do, and they have enough tiny railguns on top and on the sides and lasers to help shoot down aircraft. Um, and Command Aircraft Carrier, same deal. Tons of little, tons of little close defense weapons. Um, so they act like ships that are floating, hence airship. Um, and how it's to recon, just don't have any of that. They're tiny and they just fly really high. Combat support has one really big railgun that just snipes things from, you don't know where, somewhere in the sky. Basically, what basically what a Reaper is when you don't understand how plane when you don't understand how planes work because you come from you come from the country, let's say, um, of the Middle East. Okay, that okay, yeah, okay, yeah, no, they're not that backwards. No, I'm 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 doing like a gross like romanization of it, but yeah, you come from a place who you come from a place where you're not used to going outside looking up and you see jets and helicopters all about like I do. Which, I mean, that's rare, too. Um, you'll be able to find it. And, I mean, you'll be able to find a, a railgun one, because they're mostly direct fire. Um, but it will come out of absolute nowhere, um, if you're not looking for it. Um, like a Reaper would be, if you're not looking for one. Um, by the way, so, high altitude transport. It pretty much is a Halo platform, or a Halo platform. Um, where you just launch people from, or drop pods. Drop pods are... Used a lot by the time these are used. Um, aerial es aerial es um, air aerial aerial escort carrier. Um, they're reminiscent of the escort carriers of World War II that transformed into the assault landers of modern day. Or uh, they support the aerial command carrier and they and they mostly launch VTOLs and and, and helis and helos. And that's that. Moving on to. Uh, okay, moving on to, uh, 2038 event. Event, green, event, green and blue, the first floating deer city is launched. Well, floating deer series are, like, mega float from Ace Combat 3. Um, and any other floating series you got, like, for example, that one place in that one Call of Duty game, that place. Uh, Brink. Yeah, where that takes place. It's like that, too. Um, you, you know, those types of cities. It's a city that floats on ocean. Why do we need that? Well, because Green and Blue doesn't have any land. Green and Blue, in order to have cities and places that it can do its things in private and have its own government, that's, let's be frank, would be in national waters because no one's there. Dirt cities are typically cities inside of a, inside of a country that have their own government, kind of. Think if I... Think how this works. Native Americans. Like, Native American nations are working in a similar fashion, I think. I could be very horribly wrong, and this could sound racist. I'm sorry. But that's what I think. Um, and it works in a similar fashion. Also works the same as a castle would. Um, like, we have green and blue cities, which are, like, big castles strewn about the earth. Um, part of the kingdom of green and blue. 
uh, which that's like a parallel which I only thought recently. Um, which I didn't even think about like this entire my entire life. I never thought about that, but recently that's what I think of. Green and blue is a kingdom. Um, so yeah, I I miss that. I miss that. when I start actually plotting this out, that, that that just makes sense. Um, like for example, uh, it. I mean, like the thing is, it's a it's a democracy republic because everyone votes on all the laws and stuff like that. You got a council, which is democratically elected. You got me, which is technically democratically elected, as if I really truly mess everything up. You can vote me out, but no one ever wants to, so they don't. Um, and then later on in the timeline, when I'm U.S. president, I obviously can't be owner of Gimbal at the same time because I would technically be owner of a business, which would be Terabed, and a country, another country, which would not ever been an issue before um so yeah but no doubt some jerk some jerk in the election decided to use that against me probably, probably. yeah they definitely did let's be honest so you, you can't be an american president because you're not american citizen anymore because you're a freaking owner of a freaking mega corporation that acts like a country how dare you be a president and i'm like i'm still a united States citizen and you don't see this gigantic flag on my chest it's been here this entire time. It's like, no. Looks down. Maybe. I don't stir men's chest. I'm like, you, I don't, I don't like you. <laughs> and, th and then that is, and that is the, and that is the debate that he lost his entire bid, uh, that is the entire election bid with. So, yeah. Um, moral of that story is don't mock me. You, you'll get, you'll get worse off. Um, Especially when people find out. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, and, and, and that's the reason why to basically expand green and blue land and just have their cities. Of course, we don't actually have land outside of our city because I'm not that kind of I'm not that guy who has land in the middle of a, in, in the middle of a uh, international waterway. Okay, to China. Um, but I'm not, I'm not that guy. Um. So yeah, but moving on to 2039, and again, this is supposed to be a happy, good universe. It's not a universe where it's happy, good, but deeply flawed. It's a utopia that in reality is a dystopia. No, no, that's all this universe is. It's a utopia that's an actual utopia. Well, it's a hyper-realistic utopia, let's say. Okay, 2039. Event. The Global Skyways network is finished. What that is, is you know the interstate? You know the Audubon, you know whatever the thing in China's called, which don't think ever got a real name. You know them. Well, let's make it in the sky. So everyone can drive everywhere. That is what a not even teenager me thought one day. And planned out. And even sent to Lego a um a, a photo of what um uh, a photo of Basically, what a police unit would look like on there, um, as far as the, as far as a police like a police vehicle contest, which I which you see in it, the background of actually most of my unboxing videos, and most of my live action videos of all time. Um, it's actually it's, you know my radiation TV, which now um, it, now it's blocked by my Halo Five statue, um, Team Ruby and Pura. Um, it's actually right behind that. Um, so you go look back at those videos. I don't have. I don't have the ability to actually do it and take the photo now other than editing. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I remember. Oh, that's time. Um, and yeah, and... Oh, let's do one more event. Let's do one more event for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Golden Era. Uh, one more, because the rest are going to take a while to finish. Alright, so... <clears throat> so yeah. 2050 event. Peace and cooperation in the Middle East. Yeah, peace and cooperation in the Middle East. The IMEU is formed, an independent Middle East co union. Yes, it finally happened. It just took five million years. Um, probably, li actually, literally. This probably literally. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And yeah, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And in the, in the next part, we discuss my time as president 
and how it all went wrong in the span of like five seconds. Okay, more like a week, more like a couple months. I don't know yet, but you get the idea. Uh, um, thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching on this video. Leave lots of me. 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 If you were to, um, lots of me. Lots of me. If you were to uh, subscribe to my Patreon, nothing so for my livings in order. Yeah. Um. So uh, for my for my living, so I can do um, so I can do more with more with their story other than just tell you about it. Uh, also, if you can support me on Patreon, so if you want to, being my watcher on YouTube, um, is more than enough. Thank, um, is more, is more than enough. Thank you all for taking the time of the day to watch these videos. Love you all. All right, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I guess, see you in this video, uh, in this part. Wait. See you. I'm tired in a second.